considered, Blasters have considered nine goals out of seven games. Nine out of seven. And scored just seven goals. That is where even it is bad, you know. So, the JFA, they are saying that, look. Look at this record. Spah. Sports ministry, look at this record. So, why don't you allow us to appoint a coach? If, uh, if RME, 43, all of these courts, will you say that the student is doing well? You give him time, whatever, whatever. You tell the student to change. and Student, you cannot sack your son, your son or your daughter. You cannot sack it. But the kind of football uh, blasters, we can sack coach with you. Too. Do you get that? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports7GH, for yet another fantastic video. Thank you very much. In this video, we are going to look at sad news for black stars player very very sad news for black stars player we are going to bring you the details of that particular story in this one also there are some good news for some black stars players um, on the other hand and then we look at our main issue coach chris Hutton and the ghana football association on and on and on <laughs> why the ghana football association still thinks that he's not the best coach for ghana it's not only them in fact me as i the cta me i still i think that coach chris Hutton, no he's not the best coach for ghana black stars at the points we are and um we are we are going to look at all of those issues in this particular video and um we'll talk about some fresh fresh news oh yes yes fresh news so let's see how things go subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching us if you've not subscribed do want to subscribe to the channel like the video hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a pleasure to have you join us thank you very much now let's start from the good news the good news is that majid ashmeru i'm sure you you are you, you are missing him with the black stars he was a fantastic player for in fact he's still a fantastic player for the black star but got injured with his club and Dalet and wasn't able to represent ghana in the october and september friendlies uh in fact, september october friendlies and september competitive games and a friendly game so Majid Ashimeru is currently training with his squad and um, with his team and getting back from injury. So yes, that's a very good news for Majid. Um, it means that at least the November uh, World Cup qualifiers we are going to play. You know, Majid Ashimeru will be part of the team and help the team um, progress the ball to the forwards, to the attackers. Yes, we are lacking in that particular position. And people say that, look, the likes of Majid Ashimeru, the likes of Daniel Kufitra, when they join the squad, we will be be able to progress the ball to the attacker so it's a very good news that Majid Ashimeru who got injured is fit and training with a squad um oh, I also brought you the news that Mohamed Salisu is also trying to come back yes he's not fully in, um, fit he's not fully fit yet but then he's coming back a little bit training with the squad we will see in the coming weeks whether he will start playing competitive games for as monaco or how is it going to end but then um, that is it he's coming back and that is also a very very good news for mohammed salisu now from good news to bad news joseph Edu. He got injured in the game versus Mexico when Ghana Blasters lost 2-0 to Mexico. He was part of one of our three-back central defenders. Got injured in the early uh, minutes of the game, the first half. No, he got injured. Now the news is that he will be out for at least six to seven months, so he will miss the African Cup of Nations that will come on in January 2024 and miss our World Cup qualifiers. Now, um, it's a very sad one for um, Joseph Adu. Now. He risked losing his position with Celta Vigo. And um, when he comes back, whether he's, he's he will be able to take back the position or not, that is also another problem to think about. And it is a very, very bad news that you go to the national team to play football and then you are coming back with that lengthy of injury. In fact, they've done a surgery on him. You know that he got ankle injury. They've done a surgery on him. And the news is that he's going to be out for up to seven months, six or seven months. So yes, very very sad news for um, Joseph Edu. But then we wish him all the best. We hope that um, we wish him a speedy recovery. He will recover very speedily, and um, everything will be fine. Yes, we really hope so. Yes, yes, yes. Now let's come to the main issue. Just um, Chris Hutton versus Nora Hapto. Now this is um, Joy Sports asking the question that look. 
what the question the question joy sports are asking the me i don't agree with them now should we give the 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 blasters job to nora hapton no it doesn't mean that the fact that he's doing war with the women's team doesn't mean he he can do war with the black stars you do get a point no 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 it doesn't mean that but then the reason why the ghana football association is so angry and saying that look and pushing the nora hapton agenda pushing the nora hapton agenda is because look black queens were not a good team they were not good they were not good crap until nora hapton arrived since nora hapton arrived seven games seven wins zero draws zero losses hundred percent record um as hundred percent win record and then draw zero percent draw record zero percent loss record considered zero goals she hasn't she hasn't considered any goal with the black queens and scored 26 goals yes emphatic before nora Hapto, we were losing games we were not doing well Messi tego was a um was a coach of the black stars a ghanaian lady Messi tego was the coach of the black queens sorry black queens they were not doing well at all they were just losing game left right center but since nora Hapto took over seven games zero losses zero draws seven wins 26 goals scored now gfa are saying that look we brought nora haptor we fished out brought in a very good nora haptor to coach the black queens now you the government you didn't allow us to bring a coach for the guy for the black stars you forced coach chris Hutton on us now look at what coach chris Hutton is doing one he's not getting the convincing results two he's not playing a good game at all even if we will win we play badly to win and he will come and tell us that oh it is good for us to win the difficult way sometimes it is good to win the difficult way how can you say that a coach eh, always you are saying it is good to win the difficult way now let's look at the chris Uti records i'm sure by now cry you've gone through seven games played by chris Uti. same number of games three games won three games won three games won per two losses two losses by chris Uti. Two draws by Chris Hutton. 42.9%. You will ask yourself, senior men watching me from USC, UK, Ghana here. A, a, a lot of you have kids. So if your kid goes to uh, school and then mass mathematics, he gets 42.9%. You less rounded Math mathematics, he gets 43 over 100. English, 43 over 100. Ma uh, RME, 43. All of these scores. Will you say that the student is doing well? You give him time, whatever, whatever. You tell the student to change. And student, there, you cannot sack your son, your son or your daughter. You cannot sack it. But the kind of football uh, blasters, there, we can sack coach with Do you get that point? But we are just saying that if your student is getting 43% over 100, huh? will you say that your student is doing well? Will you say that your student is doing well and da 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 da? No, forty two point nine percent win um win percentage good twenty eight point six percent loss twenty six point six loss percentage and then twenty eight point six percent drum percentage. Now wait, goals considered. Blasters have considered nine goals out of seven games. Nine out of seven and scored just seven goals. That is where even it is bad, you no. Know? So the JFA they are saying now look look at this record God, sports ministry look at this record so why don't you allow us to appoint a coach if you want a bronia do we GFA we are, we've shown that we can appoint brony to fill a certain uh, shoes and do the job so the GFA is saying now leave us to appoint our own coach what Chris Hutton is doing there? The GFA seems to be correct but then the, I also don't agree with them because the Ghana Football Association before chris Uting, we gave you the chance to appoint coaches and you failed <laughs> you appointed ck akono felua you appointed milovan rajvak felua <laughs> okay before coach uh Mivad otuado yes he did well qualified to the world cup he was good World Cup cry, we didn't play so well. So to add the he wasn't a failure. At least qualification to the World Cup is good. Coach Chris Hutton, then the 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 Ghana the sports ministry brings you coach Chris Hutton. So the Ghana Football Association, the number of coaches we've allowed you to appoint since Keto Kreku took over, all of them fail, 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 fail. So what is the guarantee that if coach Chris Hutton leaves right now, the Ghana Football Association, you are going to appoint us a better coach like you did with the Black Queens? Now, one argument a lot of people are making is that coach Chris Hutton has the resources than the Black Queens. Black Queens, a lot of the time, they can be on match day. This, your best player will be on 
excuse me to say menstruation and you wouldn't have to play him ladies have a lot of issues compared to guys as a guy as a as a blasters coach you have more resources you are paid better that is the biggest issue people don't get to coach chris Uti, we are paying him over thirty thousand dollars a month every month thirty thousand dollars and he's doing this cheap job and everybody's there should keep quiet give him time give him time thirty thousand dollars and you are doing this cheap, cheap job cheap 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 job but the Nora Hapto is not taking thirty thousand dollars so you see the difference you the coach of, of the blasters we are giving you quality players mohammed kudus west ham which of our black queens players is playing top high level like like mohammed kudus and thomas Partey and all those black stars players are playing they, they, he, she doesn't have that the blasters uh, the black queens coach do not have that but you the black stars coach you have that and still you cannot play better football ns nyama kudus mohammed and um, kamal din sulemana uh, thomas Partey, ajimeru uh, salih samet abdo he's in the champions league rc lens we can mention the players and mention 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 Quality players doing very well in europe but when they come down here then their goalkeepers are getting more touches than their forward inaki williams antoine zemenyo the goalkeepers are getting more touches than the forwards in the black stars but the black queens they are scoring 26 goals in just seven games 26 in seven games no goal considered no 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 goal considered this is job doing i'm not saying that we should go and bring the black queen's coach to coach the blaster that one day i'll never say it because if you've done well with the ladies it doesn't mean that you can do well with the blaster ah, how can we even do that do you get a point but obi we are judging everybody based on where they are where they are there chris Uting is failing so i'm saying that i agree with the ghana football association with the father chris Uting is failing i agree that he should be sacked but then the ghana football association cannot appoint a coach to replace coach Chris because the number of coaches we've given them the chance to appoint they didn't come and do what well, except for maybe Otoado. so maybe they should consult with sports ministry and then find us a perfect replacement for the blasters going to the fifa world cup qualifications and the african cup of nations this is my views and thoughts let me know yours in the comment section of this video yes if you don't agree with me let me know yours if you agree with me let me know yours leave your thoughts and comments below definitely subscribe to the channel like this video um and definitely i'll see you in the next update bye bye